Let's now look at how PowerShell displays object and how to modify that and how to make it uh, more user friendly. Here is how PowerShell will display any unknown object. You've seen that moment ago in an example. Basically, it's a dump of every single property and its values. What I would like, however, to do is to change it into something like that. So in a moment we will see how to do it. Before that, however, let's look what, what different types of views are available from PowerShell. The first is a table, which is very obvious, it's just a table. Then the next one is a list. List is a list of properties like we've seen before. And finally, there is wide. White by default is displaying only single property in two columns, but it can be modified. All those three examples here are heavily modified to make them look nicer. Additionally, there is a custom view. This is view you cannot really modify and it displays whole object hierarchy with all child objects, its all properties and fields and their values. To modify the way how views are displayed, you need to create a format file. Format file is an XML file with PS1 XML extension. Here you can see an example of that, that shows the structure of the file. So in view definitions element, we can define multiple views. Each view has name and list of types it should be applied to. Then there is a list control in this case. This is an example of the list view. For other view types, there will be other types of controls, as you will see in example in a moment. Inside that, you define a list of properties or columns or uh, other ways of display information. You can use either properties, you can declare names, you can use script blocks to create some more complex uh, scenarios. If you need some inspiration, you can have a look at number of format files that are installed with PowerShell and used by default with different types. It's a very good source of information and uh, guidelines and some sort of hints to, to create format files. Once you have your own format file created, you can easily deploy it with your module. Just simply uncomment format to process line and specify path to your format file. Here is the snow report class you've seen um, in example a moment ago. That class has few properties and so on. If I run the command you've seen as well, get snow report feed, um, let's do Scotland again, and get snow report. Assuming I will be able to download it properly, there we are. This is the default view. You see that a few properties will be displayed. So you can see country, resort, is open, snow depth and expected snow. So that's the default view. If I would switch to the table view, like so, Again, every single property would be displayed. The same would happen uh, with custom, except the format is slightly different. In a wide view, however, um, again, there you are, you see only the first property is displayed, nothing else. So let's see how we can modify it the way this information is displayed. So this is a format file. The structure is fairly simple. In a configuration element, you have view definitions with multiple views. I have three views defined. Inside the view, you specify the name. A list of types the view is going to be applied to. You can have common views for multiple types. And then you specify a definition of the view using elements specific for the different view types. List control is for list view. It contains list entries and in each list entry you have multiple list items. 
each list item can be either property name or it can contain script block and label or it can contain property name and format string and so on. For full uh, documentation on the format of the file you have to check the uh, PowerShell SDK documentation. In similar way a table view is defined. The difference here is that table control element has table headers and table, low, uh, table row entries. Again in the entries you can use property names, you can use script blocks, you can use format strings and so on. And finally the wide view. Again wide control has number of elements. Inside wide item uh, you can use again property names or script block. In this case I'm using script block with a few more lines to build one, one string that represents the whole object. Once this is done you can open your uh, module file and inside you can find formats to process uh, line and comment it and put the path to the, to the format file you've just created. You can uh, build your solution, start PowerShell, and we can see how that works. So, by default, the first view from your format file is loaded. As it happens, in my format file, the first view is the list view. So, the first, the default view will be the list view. If I would swap them uh, in the in the order and would if I would put the table view first the table view would be displayed as default we can force the table view to be displayed by using format table like so or we can use uh, white there we are and custom view, as you've seen before, is not changing. So this is how you can nicely modify how your objects are being displayed by PowerShell.